Back to my Let's Play of Kerbal Space Program. This is episode 6. My name is Martin. Last episode we were having some issues still getting to orbit with our moon lander. Gonna see what happens in this episode. I'm definitely gonna have some more issues. Let's have a watch. So what I've done here is I have ditched the first stage and I've uh, added a mech jab on so that we can have a look at the thrust to weight ratio versus, you know, and then how much mass we have here and see why when we're not orbital by the end of the big first stage, why it's an issue with this second stage. So let's have a quick look. So we got everyone back on here. What do I want? I want vessel information. So, whoa! That cannot stand on its own weight. Everyone is horrified. The uh, what just happened there? Uh, let me just um. Where is that thing that? Yeah, can add on to. There it is. Just add one of those on. Yeah. Yeah, we'll clear that debris. Okay. So there we are. 51.2 tons for the next two stages. Only 200 kilonewtons thrust. Thrust to weight ratio of 0.4. Not so good. Takes a long time. You, you, this wouldn't even, of course, get off the ground. Uh, probably I'd kill all the, the Kerbals if I attempted. I don't even know where this stage ended up there. Let's see. What would that... Yeah, no, I can't can't do them both at the same time. I can't add a stage from here. It would be pretty funny, but... Anyway, that's uh, what I wanted to show you, why I'm having issues. So let me show you now. One thought I've had... Of course, it's just adding more boosters. So there's one set there, and these things have just, you know, phenomenal thrust to weight ratios. Thrust 400, the thing weighs 6.75, it's heavy, but for that 30 seconds it burns, it, it adds quite a bit of you know, thrust to your ship. So this is what we're going to try next. So we have our brave Kerbals back, back on the launch pad. Those don't quite look straight. That could be an issue. <laughs> we'll find out. It is, yeah, it is on the. Do I have that set up correctly? Looks like it. And then those are. I don't know where that came from. Yeah. So. Sure, sure, that's fine. Uh, let's have a go and see what happens. Of course, I'm hoping for orbital this time. <laughs> In three, two, one. Oh no! Oh no! What happened there? Oh goodness! I don't actually have any idea what happened there. I'm guessing the thrust was so much that it just ripped that stage off. I have to add more struts. So we're going to save our launch pad from any more destruction. Head out over the ocean to cancel this mission. Well, the plus side, this gives me some explosions. Uh, for an intro video, uh, you know, a little intro segment that I'll eventually s stitch together. I'll find some music too. 
All right. Good enough. Watch, watch the fantastic staging and destruction here. That's a lot of junk. That was a pretty cool pattern. Alright, we don't need to see the rest of that. Alright, here we are with Christopher 4. Let's see uh, where we go with this one. I've added some struts. Still doesn't look very centered. Not really sure what that's about. Bob, Bill, and Donsby are stoic and unworried, though. So here we go. In three, two, one. Nope. There must be a staging thing. Oops. <laughs> kind of fun. Welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. My name is Martin. And this is a continuing series of videos where I'm attempting to get to the moon. And things, of course, so far have gone very Kerbal-like, and there's been some explosions. In fact, uh, I think uh, if I've shown it there before, I did manage to kill Bill, Bob, and I can't remember the third poor Kerbal's name. Uh, after some yeah, severe staging issues again, somehow it had put this release down in the uh, initial launch, so oh, it was it was bad. But I fixed that, and now I believe we are ready to go. I also uh, went into MechJeb, stuck one on here, and checked its thrust weight to rate ratio of 1.82 now. The whole ship, I believe, is was uh, 87 tons, so. Uh, Having these on for 30 seconds hopefully will give us just that little bit extra to to get orbital. If not, you know, I will add more boosters. So in three, two, one. A little bit quicker of a takeoff. You have to watch these stages. Here goes the solid rocket boosters. Nice and cleanly separated. Now we'll give it a little bit of a tilt. And here we go with the first round of six boosters. much extra. I wonder what was that going to give us. Still slowly gaining speed. Halfway done on that stack. Hopefully I fix the wobble in the after the next separation. Um, <laughs> I fixed it on one, but not the other. That was a that was must have been a symmetry issue. Well, 
those seem to burn out too quickly to me. I'm going to have to check that next time. This is a Jed. Jed instead of a Jeb. Patry and Corbin. And again, I think this is going to be a failure. I wonder what that reflection is. Well, it's in orbit. Or it will be shortly, as soon as we get out of these atmospheric effects. So you can see it's actually bringing down the apoapsis as the atmosphere is slowing us down. But it's a, it's a funky enough orbit. That was possibly one of the worst uh, successful orbits I've ever made. Clearly still not enough power on launch, which will be easy to fix. So I say, might be more explosive to fix, who knows? So I had to get it up to about 2500 meters per second to get it into orbit. That's much higher than normal orbital velocity. You can see this one is 2230, Jeb floating around. But that's what I needed to do to not go back into the atmosphere and get into somewhat of an orbit. Just a teeny little bit of fuel left to, uh, I don't know, We got when we get to the apoapsis we have to raise the periapsis out of the atmosphere, so that's what we'll use it for. As soon as we get out of here. There we go. 49 liters of fuel left. We'll use that for our, uh, I don't know. Should we go for the moon? This thing's got a actually a surprising amount of fuel. Should be able to easily get to the moon and back from here. So I say, uh, why don't we try it? That'll probably be in the next episode. Thank you for watching. My name is Martin. See you soon. <laughs>